G'day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Dinah's going to be using Window Blind 6.0 as well as some other software to customise the appearance of Windows XP. Uh, Vista. Wait, Mac OS X Leopard? What operating system is she using? Well, keep watching to find out. Here you are on the Windows XP desktop from 2001, which is the operating system you used as your main OS when we first began recording OS First Time episodes in late 2012. Now, today you're going to be exploring software made by Stardock that allows you to customise the appearance of Windows. Do you remember being a part of Windows XP? Is this all familiar to you? The blue bar, the green start button, is this all, you remember all this? Yeah, I'm just wondering, you know yeah. what it reminds me of here? See there, it looks yeah. like a little cross, like someone died there and they put a cross there. Some, oh yeah, I didn't even see that. There, there is like a little cross there, Isn't yeah. Isn't funny? Wow, you've got, you paid a lot of attention there. <laughs> the original Windows XP background wasn't actually this high resolution. This is a 1080p XP background. The original one is a much lower resolution, so I've just downloaded a higher res one that's been modified and so on. Anyway, your first task is to open up Window Blind 6.0 from 2007. Okay, well it would have to be in here somewhere. I would go to Program. Where are the programs? So you haven't been on XP for a long time. I haven't, no. <laughs> uh, oh no, Windows Blind, there it is. And it was over, it was in the start menu too. You're in Window Blinds now. So Window Blinds allows you to change the appearance or skin of your operating system to make it look like another OS or just make it look interesting and unique. Basically, this is the most popular component of Stardock's software suit object desktop and it's been developed ever since 1998. And the latest version, which is 10.62, was released in 2017 and it's compatible with even skinning Windows 10. I don't know about this word skinning. I just think about okay. skinning a cat Well, let's something. let's start skinning so that you can kind of see what this is all about. First of all, you know the difference between the Windows XP theme and the Windows Classic theme. The Windows Classic, let's switch over to Windows Classic so you can remember this. Remember this? Yeah, I do, actually. Those, it basically looks like Windows 95, yeah, right? Yeah, it does. You go, that is the Windows Classic skin. Let's just say you wanted to apply the Classic XP yellow skin. How do you think you'd apply a yellow XP skin? This one. Go on it, and then where's the apply thing? Maybe just enter, then it's done. No, it's not enter. There's two ways to do it, or two ways that I know anyway. Apply my changes. Yep. Right. Now this is just, you just wait a little while, and then it, it takes a little while to change skins, but there you go. Then you've got it, and see at the bottom here, this is a circular little button here. It's not an actual XP skin, and it's even transparent, see? With the way the world is at the moment, and talking about skins and stuff, this is a yellow skin. Are they trying to be safe here? I mean, they wouldn't want to say a white skin or a black skin or a... Yeah, but if it's yellow skin, you offend the Simpsons. Oh, of course. So of course. It, it's got nothing to do with that, okay? Don't worry about that. This is a Simpson skin. <laughs> The Simpsons skin, that's right. So there you go, it's all, it's kind of got a yellow kind of look to it, but it's still very, you know, XP-like. Mm. What about you try and apply the diamond skin? Diamond, apply my changes. And now look at the way the computer looks. Look at the bar at the bottom. It doesn't even go to the edges. It's almost like a little circular dot bar at the bottom. See that? Yeah. And also, it's a little bit transparent That's up here right. too. That's like Vista. Exactly. It's even got the Windows Vista kind of close yeah. button and stuff. See how the close button's completely different and stuff like that? Yeah. So it's almost like you get the feeling of it being like Windows Vista. Now you're probably thinking, wait, why would they have this thing called Diamond that's so similar to Vista? Why yeah, I was thinking that, have actually. Vista? Yeah. Why not just have Vista? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll get onto that in just a moment, but before we do, can you change the desktop background using window blinds to one that looks more like Windows Vista? How do you think okay. you'll change the desktop background or um, wallpaper or whatever you want to call it? Add visual styles. No, that's if you want okay. to get some more skins. Okay. That's what that is. Um, so how do you wallpapers? think... Wallpapers? Ah, there we go. Quite a few here. And where's the Windows Vista wallpaper? Do you remember the Vista? wallpaper i will when i see it let's well you've already look. seen it let's have a look <laughs> none of those is it that yep that's it how do you apply it um yeah you can do that and you can also click okay. apply changes but there you there go does go. it almost feel like you're using windows vista now yeah, you can even does. open this little thing at the bottom 
There we go. Does this feel like, hey, I'm using Yeah, it does. Like that's transparent. It's, that's the background. Yep. Exactly. Now, there was an issue with this. It's not exactly like, I mean, the Windows Vista button, you remember it has you a Windows have logo that, on yeah. it. That's the Stardock logo, the people yeah. who made this software. So, basically... Can you change that back to Windows Vista? Well, you know how there was all those skins that this comes with? Yeah. You can download other skins to make it look like pretty much whatever operating system you want, even okay. ones that aren't real operating systems at all. Mm -hmm. The reason, though, that they avoid making skins look too similar to, you know, Windows XP or Windows Vista or Mac is it OS. copyright? There is copyright issues. For example, when they were first announcing Mac OS X or Mac OS X or whatever you want to call it, they first announced that with the new Aqua theme. You know how it's got the dock at the bottom and everything like that? Yeah. And the way the windows looked and stuff like that. Yep. They actually, with this program, before that was even released, because they'd seen previews and stuff, they actually made skins of Mac OS X and stuff like that for people to use on Windows. Right. And Apple didn't like that, and, you know, they got an actual skin known as Win Aqua, made by Dangerous, taken down. And Microsoft even made sent out... Made by Dangerous. Yeah, that's... So he knew what he was doing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Microsoft even sent out a cease and desist letter when Windows Vista themes were released for this program to make yeah. it look almost like this before Vista was even released. So people were almost trying out the look of Windows Vista. But that, how did they even know what it was going to be because like? Because of, like, you know, betas and stuff. Before we try out any more themes I want you to try and change the transparency so you can increase or decrease the transparency of what you're seeing here how do you think you increase and decrease the transparency okay let's have a look transparency and blur less transparent more transparent okay so you've just made see that bar yeah let's apply that now let's say you want to apply the changes it should be completely see-through. It is but completely see-through. But it does see -through. have these two on it. <laughs> Let's have it not fully see-through. It almost looks like glass. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like a very slight glass. Let's say you wanted to do the same with the window borders here. So you've changed how the taskbar looks. How okay. do you think you'd change it? Um, or the window the frames. You could change everything there. Yeah. Okay, frames. Okay, and let's say you wanted that more transparent. Apply changes. Okay, and there we go. You've got very transparent windows mm. now that, you know, if you kind of overlap this onto that. Finally, I want you to try out the Molten theme, and we'll try out Leo a little bit later, but before we do that, we're going to go into a different startup program. I don't like that figure. If I had this, I'd make it completely transparent. <laughs> so that you don't <laughs> you even don't see like it. it. So here what you can see is whatever window with this theme is active has almost like lava running through it. Mm. So it's actually animated, and see it's got these little circular, mm. see these little circular circular um, buttons here yep. for clothes and stuff. Uh, what do you think about that as a theme, having the lava running through it? It would be good on cold days, make you feel a little bit warmer. <laughs> By the way, remember you can always customise this. If you wanted to change, you know, you want this kind of a background with this, you could have this because this looks oh, a bit more like nice. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I actually like that. Or something like this, something that yeah. kind of better fits it. Uh, for now though, we'll just apply a kind of a fire desktop background. This so would be good if it was actual fire flames and actually moving. An animated background. Yeah. You can do that too with Stardock if you've got a program called Deskscapes, but we're not going to be trying out Deskscapes. That allows you to have an animated fire background or whatever you want. Even a, a, a scene with wind blowing and the trees moving slightly. Mm. Something like that. So that's Deskscapes, but we're not going to be trying out that. Look, even this. Oh, no. That that even moves. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, this moves when you put your cursor over this and when you open it, there's an actual oh, dragon no. with fire on your start menu. Who's pooing out skulls. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously I've had some dinner before we started. Anyway, what do you think of the look of this? Yeah, it's pretty evil. Um, <laughs> for, for people that are that way inclined, yeah. A Windows 10 start menu mm -hmm. and a modified Windows XP start menu. Which one do you think looks better? Definitely the modified. What do you think about the Windows 10 one? If you were to review this start menu, what would you say about it? Well, for a start, I don't like these Wall Street stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Do you notice it's very flat? It is flat. Flat basically means solid colours. No yeah. text. See how this has got textures, even yeah, the does. background of this. This and is these a very, have better pictures as well. This is considered old-fashioned by today's standards. This is considered ancient, old-fashioned, outdated graphics. This is what's considered modern, good-looking. Oh, really? Yes, so today it's all about the flat style. I completely hate the flat style. I prefer it to be gradient and shadows. Yeah, I think so too. Basically, flat means no 
shadows, this is no gradients. Looks like ninety five. Yeah, and this a looks bit like upgraded. the moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So basically, the style today is no 90. shadows, no gradients, no glossiness, no reflections, no transparency. It's all just boring, flat, one color type thing. Yeah. Why does this skin have better little picture icon things than the other one? Oh, okay. So why do these picture icons look better than this? Yeah, much better. Basically, back then it was more about realistic, colorful icons with gloss and shadows and looking a bit 3D and that kind of thing. But now it's all about flat icons. Make it flat. Just a very flat, basic one color icon type things, you know, just make a mm. basic folder. The style from back then to now has changed. Yeah. Trump and King Jong-un shaking hands. I never ever thought I'd see that. <laughs> yeah. Peace is starting to come to the world now. It tries to do little different icons here. It's, it's a bit buggy, but see, it's mm. like a little dragon eye and different folder things like that. And even if I like copy a background folder, little animation, see, see it's like a copying folder. It's fire going into a fire. See that? How the That's actually really good. Stuff is different. So the theme changes a lot of things, okay? It anyway, certainly does. <laughs> before we move on, I just want you to try and change the color of the skin. Make it green fire. Green fire. Yep. How do you think you can adjust the colors? Um, let's have a look. Visual styles, colors would have to be that. Yeah. So you want to try and change it to like a green fire. Okay. And then, and I want to make it just slightly darker. No, it's too dark now. Slightly lighter then. And apply changes. So that just goes to show you how even green. the dragon's green, yeah. And there you go. You've got like a green lava look. Yes. And the dragon is green and there's green fire. I think I prefer the way it looks before, but it just goes to show you that it's even customizable. Once you've even got a skin, you can customize it even further. That now brings me to the next program I want to talk about, Skin Studio. I must admit, I could not find an older version of it. The free version of Skin Studio, 7.4 from 2012, okay? <laughs> but just pretend you're using a 2007 Skin Studio here. Anyway. I don't know exactly how to pretend I'm using it. <laughs> I don't, wouldn't know what the difference is. The what, idea, what would I do differently? Not really that different to be honest. So let's say here we've gone to title bars and let's say we want to edit the windows. What they look like up the top, see this bit of it? Yeah. Where it's like animated and stuff. You can actually select that. Let's say you wanted to edit the start menu. See that's the top part of the start menu. See yeah. how it's just like a file and you can actually in paint or Obviously, in a better program, you can edit these images here. See that? Yep. So you could draw and paint exactly the way you wanted different parts of the operating system to kind of look. You might want to change the copying file animation, and you could put your own AVI file here. So it's just making, you know, using some video editing, or you actually change it very easily, and you just go to the certain parts you want to change then you're able to change it. And let's say you wanted to, for example, edit the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. See how you can see that's a taskbar? Mm -hmm. And you edit image, and that, what you're seeing there, loops from the bottom of the screen and it just keeps on joining onto itself. It's oh, kind of yeah, looping thing. So you could try and make any image here, maybe a piece of wood or something, yeah, and yeah. make your, a wooden taskbar. Even off Google Images, get a piece of wood, modify it a bit, and then well, turn be... it into a skin. You get what I mean? I'm not gonna make you yeah, use good, a skin, actually. or maybe the start button, see? And the yeah. different states of the start button. See how when I'm over the start button, there's this yeah, state, yeah, the yeah. normal state, that's State, when I click on it, state, yeah. you know, different states of the start button. And you just put those into the program, yeah. you know, and then after that, they're in there and you can customize the skin and make it whatever you want to look like. People will often rip images off real operating system pictures and then put those pictures in I wish in it here. was what you really look, what you really <laughs> want to look like. So that you can what actually you put the face you want to look like, the hair you yeah. want, the body shape you want, and put it all in there, click apply, and <laughs> voila. Anyway. Well, that'd be pretty Yeah, cool. yeah. So that there, what you just saw was Skin Studio. Making your own skins for Windows Blinds. There's a whole website called Win Customize. There's thousands of skins and you can mm. download skins and try them out. Moving away from Windows Blinds now without Windows a Windows Blinds. Imagine if you could actually have animated blinds on your windows. You pull <laughs> down the blind and then you've got a scene happening outside. Outside, yeah. Wouldn't that be interesting? Or, or you know, in an apartment. Yeah. Where, where you, you don't, don't have, have a view. You pull down the blind and you see some nice things like you see the night sky or you yeah. see trees rustling. Or even if you're in an apartment that doesn't even have a window at yeah. all, you can have a fake Just window TV installed. Like, it, yeah. a, you know, it pushes with in a view. Bit and then have it an And have that view. showing while you've got your place open for inspection. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd notice it's a TV. <laughs> anyway, basically next up, we're going to be trying out a program called Desktop X. Okay, so this is Desktop X version 3.5 from 2008. This is a program basically to have widgets and objects on your desktop and you can even have your own completely different desktop styles that are mm -hmm. very different to what you're used to. But anyway, let's say you wanted to put a few widgets on your desktop. How do you think you'd do that? You'd load widgets. Um, what's happening there? we now? go. Well, those are some widgets. So let's say you the wanted widgets. Them. Yep, let's say you wanted them on your desktop. 
I'm going to put it on the desktop. I guess you kind of thought that's what you do, but unfortunately that isn't the way you get a widget onto your desktop. You simply double click it. Oh, okay. And then you've got a little fish swimming around your desktop. Oh, okay. Get what I mean? These are well, little I still widgets. had a fish on the desktop, but he yep. wasn't swimming. That's Okay, all. add a few more widgets. So let's... Okay, now this is one of the weirdest widgets, if you ask me, because it's not really a widget, it looks more like a window to me. But let's say you wanted an arcade game on your desktop, then you've got Donkey Kong on the desktop. That'll be a little bit annoying in the background. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, this is very fiddly. I don't really see... Um, okay, fine. While you're here, have a little go. You're Mario oh, really? You bottom. can actually yeah, do it. Yeah, you can actually play it. Look. Oh, no way. Yep. Oh, well, do you jump? How do you jump? Uh, up, I think. Up is jump. Yep, up is also climb ladder. So you've got to try and get up to the top. Watch out, they can I come know, down. I know. <gasps> oh, I didn't know they could come on my head. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Aww. you didn't make it to the top. Um, we'll move on now, look at some other widgets. I don't really call that one a widget. That's a game. <laughs> I know. It's a good. game on a desktop. Well, that, these are more what I call widgets. Here's a clock, you know? Yeah. Here is um, a unit conversion for when you want to have things converted very quickly on your desktop. Here is um, extra volume control here. You can have a even a to-do list. Let's say you want to add something to your to-do list. I've actually got to add something. Got to remind me from now. Steal mm. chips from a target. I can't forget to do that. <laughs> so I'll just add that task. <laughs> there we go. It's, it's a high priority task. I have that. It's in my to-do list. Might what put it up there. What kind of ideas are you putting into our viewers? <laughs> you can have a weather app, so you always... We don't encourage that, by the way. Yeah. You always know what the weather is. Obviously, you'd place these in better spots. I'm being very dodgy with the way I'm placing all of these widgets and stuff. Let's say Liv you want to... Livonia? Where on earth is that? 77 degrees? That's... Far that's up. Fahrenheit. Been okay. melting. Yeah, well, no, it's 77 degrees. Let's... While we're here with our little unit conversion thing, let's do that. Let's go. We've got our... We want to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. This just shows you 77 degrees, that's 25 degrees Celsius. Oh, so that's, oh, it's warm. A nice warm day. Anyway, there we go. So you can have your weather app up there. You can have, but you, you kind of get what I mean. This is what this is. Yeah. What do you think of it? And the word of the day today is scale. Scale? I don't even say, I can't, I can't say the Never word of the day. I've never even heard that word of the day. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. You can also have a... It's not good resolution. Let, let's grab some good resolution. Let's pop in these. All our backgrounds. And what's that? Just a picture. It's a picture frame. So if you want just like a little a picture thing on your desktop. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. So a picture that just kind of keeps changing. So it's almost like a little changing desktop picture thing. Does a fish fly through it? Or does he bump into it? Mm, no, the fish will go through it. Push him through. He'll go through himself. Oh, he goes behind. And he's transparent. <laughs> no, there he go. goes behind the tree. You can actually make the fish always on top if you want, if you prefer the fish to be on top. Or you can make the fish behind, in front, any position of the fish. You can also have a calendar here. See that? Telling you what day of the week it is and so on like that. Certainly a way to clutter your desktop, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And you can obviously have other things like a little my computer object icon thing here, wherever that just went. But somewhere. what's the point of that? Does that just take you to my computer? Yeah. Pass. Yeah, exactly. That's just an icon. But it's a special icon. It's an animated icon that I can't quite find. Oh, there it is. See? Oh, there it is. It's a little animated one. He was hiding. Oh. See? A little here. You can click it. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> but it'll, you double click on that and it takes you to my computer. There we go. Uh, anyway, moving on. That is what Desktop X is. I'd be worried if my computer was doing that. You've also got different types of desktops, like Desktop Playground, Guest Desktop. We won't mess around with that for can now. Can Playground? Okay, I'll show you. I'm just worried it'll mess up my desktop. Oh. You can have little links. You can make your own little links. So this will open calculator. Something else oh, will yeah, open yeah. WordPad. I don't know what this is. I'll pull... Toilet? Oh. To flush? Oh, oh no, that's to In shut case down. You wet your pants. That's to shut down the computer. Oh. So let's cancel that. <laughs> so you shut, you to shut it down. <laughs> A little... <laughs> What a funny new way to shut down your computer. Um, anyway. <laughs> so flashy you've gone and to And a little, little happy, oh look at this. <laughs> what is that? And another weird happy little Objects thing. will bounce off the side of the screen. And gravity mode. Oh, oh everything falls down. down. Oh, what's the point of that? How come the desktop X didn't fall down? It's, and the fish. It's it's too clever. The fish, the fish knows what's going on. War mode. Do fish war mode. are very intelligent. It's not like they forget what's happening every five seconds. Anyway, or oh, they bounce. Oh, there we go. It bounce. See? Bounce. Getting out of this desktop now, and you can make your own desktops and stuff. That was just that. Let's go back to the classic desktop, the normal Windows one, in other words. You've got one final task now. 
-hmm. Using Object Bar 2.0 from 2006 and Object Dock 1.9 from 2007, as well as Window Blind 6.0 from 2007, make this operating system look similar to OS X Leopard from 2007, based on the screenshot I provided in the Software Installers folder. Okay, so, so let's okay. go to the Software Installers folder okay. and look at the screenshot. But I'll be a bit kinder to you. Okay, Here we go. <laughs> but will I find, found it in the other way? Mm, you could have, but it would have taken a while. That is what you want your desktop to look like. That. Leopard from 2007. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to make it look this, look like that? Okay. First of all, I'll give you a clue. Window blinds. Yeah, I know. Look. What theme down here is the most like that? I might try Leo. Okay, there we go. You've got Leo applied. Now, Leo, as you can see, has made it look very similar. See these buttons here? Yeah. However, it's not transparent. Yep. So, so I've got make it not transparent. transparency. So pretty much turn transparency off. For the taskbar and yep. the windows. I know. Yeah. Oops. See how much attention is put to this? Even these little things glow. See? Red, yellow, green glow. But there is a problem. This doesn't look very Mac-like, does it? No. Macs don't actually have a taskbar at the bottom. No, they don't. They have this at the top instead. So I can cut this, <laughs> then make, it, make it, stretch it. And put it up there. Well, before you do that, change the wallpaper first to make it more look like that wallpaper. Okay. By the way, the wallpapers here are not Windows XP wallpapers. They're just random wallpapers I put in a collection for you to basically looks, try out in this video. That looks similar, but not mm -hmm. quite. It's the same colours, but there isn't one that... That also looks similar, but it's blue. Yeah, yeah. I put that one in as a trick. For some reason, it doesn't actually appear in the Windows Blinds thing. It might be because it's a 5K desktop background. So I'll just apply that now. Notice how you've even got the Mac scroll bars here. Yeah. The blue, like, curved ones. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, we're looking very, very similar here. However, we've still got a problem. Yeah, I know. The uh, bar at the top. So remember I told you you could also use programs called Object Bar. Try out Object Bar. See if you can see if Object Bar can help you. Okay. Object Bar 2.0 from 2006. Object Bar... Okay, and Object Bar is giving you a few options here. It's got a Vista Bar. It's got Mac PC Modern. I think it's this one. Okay, yeah, and you can get more themes, but there we go. You've got, instead of a taskbar at the bottom, yeah, you got you've the... got almost like a Mac-like bar at the top. It's not exactly the same, but if we go through this now, let's say we go into Accessories and come over here to WordPad, see how you've got your file edit and all that kind of stuff yeah. here, but it's also up there, WordPad file edit and all the yeah. options for WordPad up there, just like a Mac does, how they yes. have it up there at, instead of a part of the program. Yeah. So there you go, that looks very much like a Mac now. Are you still missing a very critical part though? The dock at the bottom. Yeah, so you can use a program also included, also made by Stardock, known as Object Dock 1.9 from 2007. Gone. I have exactly. To go up there now. The whole, <laughs> don't you realise it's gone? I just realised, I went down there and thought, <laughs> where is it? Yeah, it's not there anymore. Okay, so game star doc, object doc. Ah. Doesn't look quite the same though, does it? Oh, that's only because there's that and that. Oh, do I have to put all those things there? No, you don't have to put those exact icons in it, but I just want you to make the dock itself look. See how it's almost like these things are sitting on a transparent a piece of glass table type thing, a glass yeah, table? Yeah, yeah. How would you change this? To look more like a glass okay, table. Well it, I'll give you a clue. It's something on the dock itself. The almost settings for the dock are on the dock somewhere. Okay, my... No. Wincustomize.com, which is where you download more themes and stuff. Configure dock. Maybe it's configure okay, dock. Okay, try configure dock. Yeah, then. it has to be. It has to be. It's the only one. You want to change the appearance of the dock. How do you think you might change the appearance of the dock? Well, I'd go to appearance, the background... But I don't know what these things look like. So a great way to find out how something looks like, we can come up to the top. Yeah. See how I've clicked on it? Yes. And see at the bottom you can see what they look like yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. You can actually press the up and down keys to scroll through. Oh, that's good. So I just pick one that looks yeah. like that then. What Sorry. do you think of the look of this one? Uh, tell me what you think of them as you go through them. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, I, I don't mind that actually. That's almost like little things at the bottom. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> almost like little... Almost they're like they're on the floating wall. on space, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you can add it, you can drag and drop your own programs into this to make yeah, the yeah. dock, you know, customise with the programs you want, obviously. Um, no, still not. Oh, yeah. look at that. It's almost like leopard. It's teasing you. Yeah, no, I you. can see that. Why don't they make the whole thing like that? Oh, look at little though. pieces of grass. Yeah, it doesn't suit. Almost. No. Now I'm going to tell you the truth. That's all of them. It doesn't okay, include it. that one, but let's slant it. Yeah. The problem is it doesn't actually include it. However, I thought of this. 
So I downloaded one called Leopard Full, and to actually install this, what you need to do is you need to, now this is a bit complicated, you actually gotta go in into your C drive, into your program folder, into your, and I'm not gonna get you to do this, I was going to, but then I changed my mind. So into Star Doc, into Object Doc, into Backgrounds, non-tabbed, then you actually drag the Leopard, which I downloaded, put it into here, Leopard 3D Light. Okay. And that looks pretty much the same, almost. Oh, well, it does, But very almost. similar, see with that almost like crossing the road thing, zebra yeah. crossing, see? So there you go, you got kind of your own little dock there. Yeah. Um, and you can obviously drag your own programs on that you want, you don't have to have all these. I mean, if you don't want to link to wincustomize.com, you can just get rid of it. If you well, don't want... I love yeah. the way it just disappears in a puff of smoke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's say you wanted um, a link to WordPad there, just grow... Whoa. <laughs> I've never done this before. What just happened? Um, and let's just say you wanted windows blinds on the dock, you can simply go and add windows blinds onto the dock. Wow. And there you go, it's there. Okay, so there we go, you have just tried out a bunch of different software from StarDock. Can you tell me basically what you thought of all the programs, and is it something that you would be interested in using if, you know, you Well, if I didn't computer. like my current, you know, setup and I had some spare time and really wanted to change and customise the look of it, yeah, I'd do it. Yeah, great. Okay. And if I had Windows 8, I'd definitely, you know, the cla the normal look of Windows 8 with all the Wall Street, I'd definitely change it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And do you feel like, I mean, just looking at this, if you walk past a computer, what computer do you think this would be? A Mac. You really think this was Mac? It just goes to show you mm. how much you can customise your computer with external software, not usually yeah. with the operating system because they don't let you customise that much apart from the desktop background, a few little colours here and there. Mm. With external software you can really make your computer look like pretty much any other computer. And this is Windows XP, look at how different it looks, yeah. you know? <laughs> It is very different. This would certainly fool your friends. Yeah, exactly. Last of all, I just want to say, on a Mac though, this thing is usually on that side, remember? Can you change the... You can with some more programs. I could download some more software that's... Change I think the there's positions something called left sidey or something like that left that puts your close buttons on the left side instead of the right side. The point to show you is that there are a lot of ways to customise and everything you've seen is more than a decade old. All this mm -hmm. stuff is over a decade old and look at what you can make your computer look like. Yeah. You know, and move around, customise in comparison to the flat look of today where yeah. everyone's into the flat look. I can't believe the, you know, why would people be into the flat look? It's so uninteresting and unappealing. I know. I mean, like, I've even made, you know, icons and things and programs and stuff and people hate my style because they're like, he's so old-fashioned, he has all these transparency and shadows in his things and all that. But to me, gloss. that's modern I as know. opposed to flat. I mean... I know. You know? Anyway, well, that's just the way the world is now. Let's see how long the flat thing. I think this whole flat appearance of Might the world now. Might be a fad. I think it's like, you know, 80s cars, how they're mm. all boxy. And mm. before that, they were all like spaceshipy in the 1950s and 60s. Cars had that curvy, yeah, yeah, interesting yeah. style. Maybe then it's just a boxy. fad and hopefully people will um, come to their senses and... Yeah, I think in the future we'll have people in the future looking back at Windows 10 and that kind thinking, of era and thinking, oh, yeah. my gosh, that was the time where people really did not have style. Any style, There was yeah, no I class, was there was no that. nothing in the Windows 10 era. I mean, yeah. they had it back in a decade before Windows 10, as mm. you can see here, but they didn't have it back then. So that makes us <laughs> ahead of our time then, really. <laughs> we're, so. we're both ahead and behind our time. Yeah. We're out of time. Anyway, we are now out of time to continue this video. It is now time to say goodbye and we will see you next time. Next time. Bye. Bye.